Hello everybody, Callisto I Redux here with a tutorial on a firework randomizer. 100% reliable, and here it is you see in front of you. Let's check it out in action. As you can see, it comes out at completely random times. So this is sufficiently doing what Etho was doing with his randomizer, only it's using only redstone and no fire or anything like that. Let's take a look at how this works. Okay, so as usual, we will start with a red block as our power source. We'll go ahead and throw a lever on it to turn it on and off. And then we will go ahead and build a five clock. Now a 5 clock is the fastest clock you will be able to use for this firework randomizer, although you could extend the clock even further. I will show you guys how to do that later. So here we have a 5 clock, and as you can see it is going on and off every 5 ticks, unless you flip this lever, in which case it turns off. Now we will go ahead and build the randomizer portion. So we'll go ahead and extend it one block out, put a dispenser in front of that facing outward, then a block in front of the dispenser, we'll go ahead and break this and place a torch directly underneath that. Now we need to make a three and then sticking out one in this direction area that can hold water. So we'll build that and then go ahead and close it off so that no water can pour out. just like this with an opening on the block that extends outward and this opening we will cover with a regular piston. Now on top of this piston we'll throw two pieces of sand. Gravel will work as well. A block next to the upper piece of sand with a lever that is constantly on and a piece of redstone dust on top of that. Now from Let's go ahead and actually add the water first, so you guys can see how this goes. We will put a source block there, and a source block there, and as you can see the water should be flowing towards the piston right here. Then we'll go ahead and cover this up and the dispenser, and place redstone going from the clock to the sand up here. That completes the randomizer portion. All we have to do is put a water bucket and a regular bucket inside the dispenser. And the way this randomizer works is the game randomly selects anything inside the dispenser. And so if it selects the bucket of water, then it will activate this piston, which is actually a bud and if it selects the empty bucket then it will do nothing and cause nothing to happen. Now from this sand block on either side we will put another block with a repeater facing outward and this is where a dispenser goes that will contain our fireworks. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen that is the firework randomizer 100 percent reliable. Let's watch it in action. As you can see, whenever a water bucket is randomly selected, a signal will get sent to this dispenser right here. So sometimes it may happen many times in a row, and other times it won't happen for a while. It's really completely randomly selected. Now if you want this to not go off so often, as I mentioned earlier, we can just extend the clock here. So we could do this by adding another repeater, and it can really be set to any tick length. If you have many of these dispensers going, at, or many of these firework randomizers going at once, I would recommend having each of the clocks hooked up to them set to different lengths, just to add a little bit more randomness to your setup. throw a lever on here to turn it on and off again. 
But as you can see, now it is happening much less often. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I'll set a few of these up and wait for night to fall upon us and show you guys it all in action. All right, well, nighttime is upon us, and as you could see here, I tiled four of these firework randomizers all next to each other. I have them all filled with fireworks in these dispensers up here now. And as you can see, this one is attached to a five clock. This one is attached to a six clock. This one, a seven clock. And this one, an eight clock. They could all be on the same clock, but this just makes sure it's a little bit more random. And then all these clocks are hooked up to this one lever here. So let's go ahead and flip the switch and enjoy the show. There you have it ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, see you guys later.